No, John, I'm here. You're a busy man. Yeah, I, I am a busy man, but I suppose I have a couple of main things in my life at the minute, and one is, is football and the other is politics. But uh, this evening is uh, delighted to be here in Westport in Seamus Duffy's uh, shop uh, to sign copies of my autobiography, which I published uh, a few uh, weeks ago, which is basically the story of GA in my life. And, it has been central to my life. It's the only, I suppose, hobby or, that, or passion that I've had in my sporting life. And, and uh, I, I have made great friends in it over the years. Uh, I've, I've been privileged to manage and to coach great players. I have been privileged to have uh, great people along with me. One of them here this evening, Willie Kelly. He might come out there from around the corner and play a bit. And look at him. Uh, we were looking after him for a long time, Willie. Yeah. Willie, Willie was um, uh, one of my selectors when we won the Under 21 All Ireland, which really launched my managerial career back in 1983. Uh, and we won the All Ireland, and we had, we we beat Derry in Irvinstown in a replay, having drawn with them in Carrick and Shannon. So we had, the great thing about the GA is that you make really true personal friends. And all of the people, uh, and Willie is a great example of it. You know, once I, I, I don't think I knew you. I knew you as a referee before, before you were a selector of mine. But we have been personal friends uh, since that, and have attended uh, uh, big family functions and weddings and so on. Uh, and, and so you have been a footballer. Huh? You've been a footballer, uh, yes, a manager, a, I've been a, footballer a, and a, manager. a TD, politician, Finn uh, yeah, man, and now you're a, a writer. <laughs> well, <laughs> so I, look yeah. at it, I suppose. In, and you've a long way to go, yeah. In 1998, Pat Comer brought out a video a year till Sunday about the goal of a year of 98 winning the All Ireland. And it, at that time, I was asked to do a book, but I wouldn't do it while I was still managing. Hmm. I'm now five years out of it. And I decided to kind of. People have a, a love to know maybe what went on behind the scenes in, in, in big games and so on. So I've tried to put that in, in this and, and show how life... Well, you had a lot of success as a manager. I have. I mean, yeah. I, I've been lucky. Uh, I, I, I managed uh, Mayo Orange New Ones, as I said, along with Willie. They won in Ireland? Ireland. Not Ireland. Yeah. I went to uh, Mayo. We won two... Uh, Connacht titles and got to an All-Ireland in 1989, unfortunately came up three or four points short. Mm -hmm. uh, then went to Leitrim to win a Connacht Championship when I was manager there in 94, mm. which was a small county, a different dynamic really. But they hadn't won it for a long time. They hadn't won it for 67 years. 67 years, that was a uh, big achievement. And then went to Galway in 97 for a 98 championship <coughs> and won the All-Ireland the first year and won it again in, in, in 2001. I mean, that's and a huge achievement. So look, at we've had great times. I, mm. I, my managerial career spans, I think, 27 years. So mm. we've had great times, made great friends. And I don't regret a minute of it, except I suppose I'd love to have won twice as much. But and how about your career with Mayo now? Uh, yeah, well, with yeah. Mayo, as I said, I was four years with them, brought them to two, brought them to the All Ireland. My second period in Mayo didn't work out as well because I was doing a job that at that stage which I hadn't ever done before, which was there was a team when I took it over had played in four All Irelands. It needed to be refreshed and new players brought in and to try and stay competitive while I was doing that. In 2010, we won the Connacht Championship in 09, but in 2010 we lost to Sligo and Langford, really, which was a big setback. But I have to say that I launched the career of all the present day team, which James Horden did so well with, and, and, and uh, Noel Canelli and, and Pat Holmes, and hopefully that now Stephen Rocher will do well as well. So I wish them well, and it's great, to, you know, there's an awful lot of fine footballers in that. But and what, what do you think is the missing factor Mayo. They, got, they get to a, a, the top nearly every year, but they just kind of get over the line. Is well, there any, I I, apart said, from the, the course? But the I've said it's, well, we've blamed everything, <laughs> including the course, including the television break, and all of us in 1967, when, yeah. when, when me got two goals, and we blamed the television on it. So we've blamed <coughs> up, to, up to last year when when uh, Aidan O'Shea and Killian uh, O'Connor ran into each other. So I think we've run out of excuses, so I think the year is now. Maybe 2016 would mm. be a good year a commemorative year to, to do it. A lot of managers are having trouble with their players these days because they're... Uh... 
This is going to be a continuing trend, do you think? Yeah, I think, well, I'm not sure that it will be, but I, when I looked, at it, I, and I don't know the facts in Mayo or Gold or Hurlers, uh, but I think the fun, the bit of fun that we've had in the past, it was always a serious <coughs> business. We always did it in a professional way, but I think nowadays there's so much involved and so much commitment that I, I think it's unfortunate that we'll say, uh, if you like, dirty linen is washed, washed in public. Mm. Uh, but having said, said that, I don't know the facts. But I think we every team has tensions, uh, but it's how, how they're dealt with and dealt with behind closed doors, as it were. And unfortunately, in some cases, that doesn't happen. Well, Cork have done it already, and Galway, and now Mayo. Uh, is there a solution to this, or is it going to get worse? Uh, well, I would hope it wouldn't, but the need to put structures in place that doesn't allow it, things to fester if there's, a, if, there's a, uh, if there's a dispute between players and management. Because, you know, in, even in Premiership soccer in England, like the manager or the chairman might sack the, the manager, but you never get a situation where players kind of come out publicly uh, to say mm. that they don't revolt, have confidence yeah. in them. So, that's a, you know, it's not a nice trend, uh -huh. uh, but and I would hope that it wouldn't grow. But if I was a young manager starting out now, you'd nearly think twice about it mm -hmm. when you see some of the developments in the modern game. Mm -hmm. You know, has the manager got full power to select a team nowadays? Well, in different counties, in most counties, yes. I mean, I didn't have it in, I didn't have it in. Well, what, what I'm saying is in in 19. Uh, 1988, 89, the county board gave me the selectors. I didn't have the power to pick my own selectors, but I think after I left, I think every other management since that has that power. And I have had always that power in Leitrim and Galway as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's an important one uh, because you need to have control over the people that you work with. Mm. What do you think, Willie, about this revolting? I would, I would agree with 100% the managers, uh, the, the selectors mm. being appointed by the manager because he hadn't that power as he said in the situation. So then. He's 100% correct on that, and uh, I think any manager that comes into a team has mm. to have his own selectors or decisions mm. they can work as a team. It's, it's extraordinary in, the, in that uh, it happened to me and Galway when they went a long way in these uh, competitions. It is, I suppose. It made, does it make one suspect that they're shifting the blame? Well, that's uh, you know that's a way of looking at it yeah, in the yeah. sense that Mayo have been so close, and certainly if Mayo had beaten Dublin, we wouldn't have been in the space that we were in in the last mm. couple of months. Mm. Uh, but you know, uh, like uh, that, that's 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 yeah. that's it. So and Galway almost went the whole way. Uh, Galway almost went the whole way. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so you're a busy We'll keep at it as long as we're, the, the God gives us the, the energy. It's still up Mayo, is it? Up Mayo, all the way.